Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the MU Stad Manchester United 2 Tottenham nil. It's a massive win. Massive, massive win for Manchester United. I thought I thought we deserved to win this game. We've completely dominated Tottenham. I thought Tottenham offered little to nothing. I mean, they they came here to defend. They just defended the entire 90 minutes and still ended up conceding two. I mean, <clears throat> the goal scorers, of course, Casemiro is not the goal scorer. It's Fred and Bruno are the goal scorers. So those two, they've done really well. I mean, the Fred's goal, I think it was a bit lucky. It got deflected, but all in all, I think we completely dominated them. And I think uh, we deserve to win. Let's just run down through uh, their performance. So taking a look at uh, David De Gea, I think David De Gea hasn't done really well in this. And I mean, hasn't done much in this game. He was a spectator. I mean, <clears throat> Tottenham had one chance. I remember Harry Kane with one shot on goal on David De Gea. But other than that, I don't think David De Gea was uh, tested at all, all night. He was relaxed. He could have been watching the game with us. I thought he was watching the game with us because he didn't do anything. The loads did really, really well up and down the field. Uh, he supported the attack. That's what we want from our fullbacks, from Shaw and the loads. That's exactly what we need them to do to perform and to go way high up and squeeze the, the opponent's defense, and which is what they did in this game. So I'm, I'm really, really happy with the performance everyone i mean everyone could be could have gotten a high score today really uh, in terms of performance of uh, Miranda martinez looked really really solid kane and son was just quiet the entire game haven't done anything really because they've been kept quiet because of those two defenders as well as the midfield i thought the game was won today in the middle of the park i think casemiro is my man of the match let me know what you guys think uh do you think Casemiro is your man of the match or do you think it's someone else? But for me, Casemiro has been outstanding in this match. Yes, you could give it to Fred or Bruno, but I think Casemiro deserves it for me. Yes, he hasn't scored, but I thought he protected that back forward. Uh, because of that, Son and Harry Kane couldn't even get a sniff in that match. Um, so yeah, uh, Fred and Casemiro has been solid in the middle of the park. Uh, Shaw, I mentioned it with Delot. We're missing him here for some reason, but uh, Shaw and Delot done really well uh, going forward. Uh, Casemiro and Fred, unbelievable. I mean, especially Casemiro, he was uh, unbelievable, unplayable. He just controlled Benton Core, Hoybert in the middle of the park. They couldn't do anything. I mean, Basuma also started. They couldn't hold him down. He was just, he was just him, Bruno and Fred. I mean. What an outstanding game. I think the game was won today uh, by the midfielders. And these three, I think they were really, really key uh, in this match for us getting all three points. Um, looking at uh, Anthony's performance, I think Anthony and uh, Jaden Sancho, they did okay. Anthony in the first half uh, hits the post. He cuts inside, hits the post from distance, which was uh, a very good effort. Other than that, was taken off uh, around the 60 or 70th minute, I believe, for McTominay. Um, before that, I don't think he was threatening enough. Like, I'm looking at the other players, like from Man City or uh, Arsenal. You look at their forwards and the, the wide position, from wide positions, they can take on players one on one. They create a lot of chances, but I haven't seen enough of that in this match because, but, you know, like, we, we won the game, but I thought those two hasn't done that much uh, to be given a high score in terms of like performance. It was an average game from Anthony and Sancho uh, as well. I thought Sancho could have been easily taken off uh, in the second half, but Ten Hag decided to keep him on and it paid off for him. Uh, Marcus Rashford up top, of course, chosen. Uh, um, by Eric Ten Hag instead of Cristiano. And it still has paid off. We've seen Marcus Rashford again in this match miss a couple of chances. And the uh, Newcastle game, he missed a sitter, uh, two or three chances. And in this game as well, he did everything right but score in this game. 
I missed a couple of chances and missed one as well. It could have been costly if Fred didn't actually find a net in this game. So Eric Ten Hag has to come out now and answer why he chose to, to go with Marcus Rashford. And then he has to explain uh, why Cristiano did not come on in the game. I was watching the game, but I thought the moment we scored that second goal, uh, I thought there's no way he's going to put Cristiano in. And I was right because he decided not to put him in because you're winning 2-0. Why the hell would you put him on? Because he's going to give you less defensive work. He's going to give you less legs uh, up front. So you really don't need to play him. And I, I knew he wasn't going to play. And because of that, I think the headline definitely is going to be not United winning the game, but Cristiano actually walking off before the game finishes. That is going to be the headline. I think everybody's going to talk about that. But this is the problem, you know, like when you have a superstar like Cristiano, when you have one of the greatest goal scorers of all time uh, and you decide not to play him, you're going to have to answer the questions. Did he do the right thing by walking off the field? I don't think he did. But he's fed up. I mean, he, the, the disrespect from this manager time after time is just beyond me. Consistently, he was doing it. Consistently. When the team was winning today, it was actually a good time to put Cristiano in. He could get a couple of goals, get his confidence back. But instead, the coach decided not to even put him on. But there's no complaints from Manchester United fans. We can't complain. We won. We wanted to win this game and we won this game. Eric Ten Hag decided to, to go with this lineup. As you can see, this is the lineup that played and it worked out that paid off for him. So you can't, you can't, we cannot complain, but uh, what else? What else happened? So Fred, uh, Casemiro, I, I mentioned about Casemiro, Luke Shaw in the first half had a, a decent shot on goal, but was saved. Um, of course, before like five minutes uh, till the end of the game, uh, Ilanga came on uh, and Eriksen came on for Casemiro. Casemiro has been booked in that game as well. We needed him for the Chelsea game, so he had to take him off uh, <clears throat> so that he doesn't get that second yellow card. But what do you guys think? Who was your man of the match? Let me know in the comments section. Do you think we should go with the same starting 11 in the next game against Chelsea? Or should we change certain things? I think Eriksen could play or could even start against Chelsea. I don't think it's going to be the same kind of game that that we played in this one. Tottenham just came here to defend completely. They shut down with seven defenders and still conceded uh, two goals. I don't think Chelsea will play like that. It's going to be a little bit different game to the one we played tonight and the Chelsea game. Really, really looking forward to that one. Now we are a top four team. You could you could clearly see it now. Eric Ten Hag has won against Liverpool. He has won against uh, Arsenal, won against now against Tottenham. Yes, we did lose against Man City, but next is Chelsea. If we win against Chelsea, you better believe we are definitely in contention uh, in contention finish in the top four or maybe even uh challenge to win some kind of trophy this season but that is it guys thanks for watching don't forget to smash a like on the video and leave your comment down below uh if you if you think casimir was your man of the match and if you have any questions about the game leave your comments down below if you don't have anything leave an emoji if you want it helps out the channel so don't forget to subscribe, smash a like, and I'm out of here. Peace.